Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go and try and do, I guess we could do Boss Rush as Tainted Isaac. It's a bit of a weird one because it's like an odd mark to not have. But yeah, Tainted Isaac's obviously a fun character, a good lad, um, and we can go ahead and do this. I, I just need to check something real quick. Okay, I am. I was just like, am I on the right save file? I was a bit worried that I was accidentally on the streak save file then, but we're good. We're good. Uh, okay. We just had two runs back to back with C section. So, maybe a third? <laughs> if it wants to if it wants to be that sort of kind, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't turn my nose up at it. I would not turn my nose up at it at all. You want to be that sort of kind to me? I would, uh, I'd like that. As for the question of the day today, um, I've been having a real hard time with question of the day. Let's, is, is chat GPT something I can use right now? Because I used that for a little while to do questions of the, of the day. Um, how are you doing, chat GPT? Give me 50 questions of the day. Here we go. What's something new you recently learned? There you go. That's a good one. Thank you, chat GPT. <laughs> I'm just going to do that from now on. Oh my god. No, I'm going to do from now on as well. Just fucking die. There's probably a few in there that I've already asked before are very similar, but I think some of them, like, what's something you've learnt today is something that I can, I can ask multiple times, because there's always new stuff that you're learning. Always new stuff that you're learning. I haven't learnt much today, because I've not, I've not done anything apart from record Isaac. Um... So I've, I've not learnt a whole hell of a lot today. I have unfortunately learnt that I take a lot of damage if I'm not paying much attention. Which is exactly what's happening at this very moment. Um, I've also learnt that I need to get over to my item room and hope that it's C-section once again. We don't need to like be worrying about this being a streak though. We don't need to win. We'll get a death here. It's absolutely fine. Oh my lord. Chill out. He's pushing the other enemies towards me. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. The little flame spinner dudes are doing their thing over here. Where is he? Look at him go. Look at him go. Thinking he's all that. Evil items, I guess. We'll see if we hold any evil items. Ooh, wow. What a choice. I think we'll take Bag of Bobbies, thank you. And Bag of Bobbies ain't even that good. I mean, it's it's fine. I probably wouldn't call it quality 3 like it says it is, though. I'd say it's probably quality 2. I would very much take Shoop. If you want to give me Shoop, I would be uh, pretty pleased about that. Is, is, is it even this guy that gives Shoop? I can't remember. I think it is. No Shoop, though. Not a single Shoop was even whooped. Right, quickly check this out. Um... Just go. My health isn't great, so I could end up dying to the boss here, but considering that item I've got isn't exactly groundbreaking, I'm not going to care too much if we have to redo floor one. So I'm not taking the precautions that I normally would on a streak. But yeah, I've been liking the, the fact that we've been getting up to, a, I think we're on a 21 streak at the minute. I hope that doesn't give spoilers to anyone. I, I'm really hoping we can get to 50. That would be like a really ultimate goal for me, but that's... That's... Ugh. That's pretty sketchy. We'd have to get pretty lucky with our character selections because I'm just leaving it to the whim of the character selector to, to randomize the characters at the moment. Um, and obviously I'd have to play pretty consistently well. So I don't know about that. Ooh, yes. Plus one damage and a HP up. Very nice. Very nice. Plus our health in a much better spot. Hope we can get devil slash angel deal here. I would like an extra key to get into there. Ooh. Very, very nice here, Planetarium. You watch it be between Sol and Mars. Guarantee it. <laughs> no, it's not, actually. Um, boulders will randomly fall into enemies dealing damage. Ancient fragments have a 25% chance of replacing other consumables. Ooh, I really like this. We've played around with this before. It's a fun idea. Um, basically, we take these little boulders and they give us stats down for every one that we take. But um, they make our boulders stronger and I think fall even more. It's it's a really cool idea, and we'll uh we'll take as many as we can and and, and really get ourselves going crazy. I'll take this because it's an active stars for next floor, I guess. 
And also we get a burn heart for this as well, so that's pretty valuable. But yeah, so we're hoping for a lot of consumable drops so we can get the chance to replace them with boulders often. And if we could get that um, Quaker Earths active item, that would be really fun. <laughs> we'll take that, yeah. Oh wait, isn't, that, isn't this the one that gives me Brother Bobbies? I have a very Bobby-centric build. Also, health coming in nice. Very good stuff. Oh, come on. Come on, little Rockies. Where are you? Where are thou? Oh, I just walked right into that fire. For some reason, I didn't see him producing fire there, and I just kind of went headfirst, steamrolling straight into it. Oh, my majestic Bobbies. We have you in multiple forms now. Trinket form and item form. Ow. I have to fill up this burn heart before I lose it. There's a red heart back there, but I'm, I'm too far gone now. I'm in too deep. Oh my god. Chill, my guy. Chill. Are you killing my bobbies? Fucking get out from behind that little rock, you... Oh my god. Some burn fragments to, uh, to help you out. Why not? I don't know if they really are doing much, but I have them there. Yeah, look at the, look at the rock, rocks falling on your face there. They can get really powerful. We've done one or two runs with this item before that have been pretty nutty. Where I've, like, maxed out on the uh, on the rocks and seen what can happen. Because you can see it's actually falling on them directly, like it aims for them. It's not just falling completely randomly. Bell Clapper is probably the better one here. Um, I, th I think we're okay for Devil Deal. I'll check this out. What we got going on here? It's kind of tricky. Um, I think we're going to take this. And I think I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to take this. Puts us in a risky spot health-wise, but... A lot of very good items there. Puts us in a way better spot. Way, way better spot. I have Balor's just really, really good. Extra damage to the weakest enemy in the room. Red King is sketchy but good. Especially considering it's a choice. And then obviously Succubus is just... Succubus is just amazing. You can't deny the suck. He will suck the life force from anything nearby. What, what is there not to love? I just love the fact that any with Ayabala, any enemy that you're shooting becomes the enemy with the weakest HP. Wants to do a lot of extra damage. And in here we've got... Ooh, Book of Genesis is probably the right call here. We take full heart damage, but we generate a black heart every three rooms. I think overall that's pretty worthwhile. I'd like an extra penny for that, thank you. I'll maybe come back for that. Oh, I didn't use that stars card. That was stupid. I wasted a key. My bad. Beautiful. Dude, we've not had a single other rock yet. Not a single one. Very much like more rocks, please, game. Ooh, hello. Tinted rock. Not the sort of rock I was hoping for, but... Ooh, accidentally took Slick Spade there rather than Small Rock. But do you know what? I'm pretty fucking happy with Slick Spade, so... I don't even mind. <laughs> like, kind of forgot about the whole switching items there and wasted that a little bit, but I, I think I don't mind at all. Look, how is none of those one of the rocks? Come on now, game. Also, we got a Holy Bantle here and a Eternal Heart, so very happy. That card's just absolutely busted. It's so strong. It's like almost a guaranteed health up. In a, in a card, which is pretty strong. Right, let's go buy that um, thingy heart real quick. Soul heart. want to bolster my health as much as I possibly can here. Um, just so we've got a bit of leeway for the taking double damage shenanigans we've got going on. We're, we're at our eight item cap at the minute. We've only got one item that I'd really be willing to give away right now, which is um, the capsule because it doesn't do anything. Everything else I want to hold on to at the moment. Come on, where's all my rocks at? I want to get my rocks off. The game's not letting me. Dude, the amount of bobbies we've got going on right now. I think a lot of those were from the trinket we've got from picking up all that money, but still. 
Here's an extra bomb. What, what, what does this do? There's a bunch of these that I've not really used yet. Trap zombies in the room in, in vines for 12 seconds. Trapped enemies drop fruit hearts on death. Um, okay. I will take that. And I will pop it. Probably should have waited until they were over the uh, threshold first. My bad. Oops. I guess. <laughs> pretty, pretty bad room to use that on, I guess. Dude, I can't believe we've not got a single other one of these rock chests. 25% chance to replace anything that drops. We ain't got a single one. At, le at least the run's good. I don't don't mind as much because the run's still fine, but still. Dude, our health is uh, pretty gnarly right now. All the brother bobbies hitting at once. I like that. Wow. Annihilated. Uh, Squeezy's probably the better one here because we gain um, fire rate and a bit of HP. Devil deal, what do you hold for us? Another four devil deal, okay. Um, let's take a closer look here. So, Bell Clapper's not amazing. I think I'll take Bell Clapper for uh, more of the void here. And I think the rest of them I genuinely want to leave. Wrath is very good, but I think I'm going to leave the rest. And then we'll uh, charge this up and then hop down here. See what red items we end up getting here. And we get two items here, which is weird. I don't know what the red cube does. It's just called red. Adds an extra ultra secret room to every floor. Unfortunately, none of these are really that good. Um... I actually don't think I want any of those, which is a shame. The penny roll might be good just for getting some money, but I'm going to just leave that. It's just more options, isn't it? Like, we've, we've got good items right now, but this just gives us more options. It really do. Right. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep this book for a little while, maybe until we get to the womb. Because right now it's... Very good getting a black heart every three rooms. It's pretty strong. Even if we're taking double damage, I'd say that's still pretty goddamn strong. And we are absolutely rinsing through these rooms here, even without using more of the void. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Don't think we're going to have a problem here. We're trying to do boss rush, I think, aren't we? So we do need to be a bit quick now. We need to make sure that we're speeding up, but luckily we've enabled ourselves to be speed. We are speed now. Get yeah, nice, quickly check this out. Look at all my bobbies. Yep, neither thing there I care for. Makes it easier to be quick when I get a bunch of items I don't care for. Ah, my bad. It's okay, though. We can heal up our uh, ailments pretty quickly. Yeah. Bosses are getting wrecked left, right, and center here. Uh, I guess we'll take Cracker Jacks for the potential better trinket and the HP. That's a much better trinket. I'm sorry, babies, but this is very, very good. Good, ow. Just see if we get anything amazing. Unfortunately, no. I will take this for the uh, soul heart. Okay. Just gotta keep being quick. Gotta keep being speedy. Keep our speed of rolling. Oh, don't walk into the mask, please. That's a bad idea. Wheel of Fortune. Ain't no fucking... Teleport to the boss fight, though, is it, game? How dare you? Rooms like this are a bit annoying, because the enemies are all over the place and a little hard to sort of track down. Overall, not too bad. We are almost full on black hearts now. Rather nice. Easy. Oh, more of the void is just... I can't believe anyone ever was like, I can't believe they nerfed more of the void. Ooh, mate. 
what the fuck are you on about? This thing's so powerful still. <laughs> oh, I can't generate infinite black hearts off it anymore. Yeah, why the fuck could you in the first place? That was retarded. Maybe a poor choice of words, but you get my point. It was just silly. Ah, god damn it. Found our item room here. Unfortunately, yet again, nothing we want there. And we've gone the, all sorts of the wrong way here, so... We're taking our sweet, sweet time now. Yeah, it was just, just one of those items that's like, how... How was it ever giving you black hearts, man? <laughs> it's, it was just as strong as it is now, and it was giving black hearts. Why? Also, yeah, unfortunately, this, this, uh... Thingy item, I, I, it might be broken, you know, the one that's dropping all the rocks, because we're literally not getting ed any additional rocks at all. We should be getting some. Ow, what a hit. He was. How is this the wrong way as well? My god, this floor is evil. Fuck you, floor. You need to speed up, not slow down. Nerve pinch or Aries, yeah. Unfortunately, we're, like, we're at this point in the run where we don't really want anything else. <laughs> how, how on earth of all the ways was is the boss over here? Come on now. Very annoying. Of all the ways I could have gone. Right. Oh, don't you dare. Thank you. Please just let us get to the boss with some speed. Some amount of haste. I don't even care. But full HP still anyways. Oh my god, yes. At least we can kill the bosses extremely quickly. Feet is in a jar. Level 1. Ooh, what the heck? I don't know what that is, but I kind of want it. I'm sorry, but um, bag of bobbies. I think I'm going to let you go. I'm going to take the feet is in the jar and see how this works. We've got Burner Baby there as well. Okay, I've got some good stuff here, but that's fine. Bit easier to get to you, innit? I can just go right up to the Yeah, we've got Falling Rocks still, but... Just a shame, really, that we're not getting the full power out of it. We're almost there. And we get ourselves Again, a bunch of crap. <laughs> The items here have not been good to us thus far. Right, come on, we're just trying to make boss rush. We've got five minutes-ish to go. Yeah. So I think the Dr. Fetus thing that I just got, I think that's actually like a new version of Cube of Meat, where I'll get multiple of them down the line from that boss, which is a lot of fun, because we, we definitely need a new one that isn't Cube of Meat. And I like the fact that the last Evolver is just called Fuck You. I don't know what exactly that means, but I'm excited to find out. I would I would very much like to be introduced to Fuck You. Right. This is all about trying to be speedy now. Nothing there that I want. Now, we could just go now without seeing item room, but I feel like that would be a little rude for me. We've got so much time to spare. Although, it's not in this room, so maybe I don't care. <laughs> There's a strong possibility, I don't care. Luckily, health-wise, on boss rush, we should be absolutely fine. Take that. Go in here. Okay. 
not too bad. Oh, bloody Herming shots getting me there. Luckily, they can only fire once, apparently, according to someone. So, I'm fine now. Hellfire is the first item that I'm considering. I might have to take it over my Jar, because I don't think I'm going to end up evolving it fully. So, I apologise, Jar Baby, I just took you, but... I do think Hellfire will end up being better in the long run. Tammy's Head, Holy Water, Luda... What the hell's that? Size up Fire Rail. Ooh. The 3D Glasses is pretty, pretty mint. I think I'll take the 3D Glasses here. Yeah, that's exactly why I wanted the 3D Glasses. I had a feeling it'd be broken with this, and it very much is. Yeah, baby. Hellfire and stuff makes it very broken, so... 3D Glasses is a busted item. Not just that it's very good, it is genuinely just broken, and I don't really know why. Makes for some uh, some pretty strong stuff, though. Ow. Throw a firebomb at me. Why'd you do that? You dick. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm taking some, some fat hits here that I shouldn't be taking. Weirdly, it doesn't always fire off the, the, the brimstone beams, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Ow. Face, I don't... Oh my god, Hellfire's doing its thing. Where's the other half of you? There you are. You wanna calm down, Mr. Guy? Okay, I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, I think. This guy's kind of tough. I'm, I'm basically completely relying on more of the void for most of my damage nowadays. Look at that damage though. Oh my lord. It's pretty incredible. Luckily, Ayabalo allows us to do some extra damage here. Stop right there, criminal scum. Zealot Heart there, why not? Yeah, it doesn't seem to do the uh, the Brimstone Beams all that often. But when it does, boy does it hit. It's going to be a pretty lengthy uh, boss rush, I feel like. Maybe it happens more after I get hit, because <laughs> that seems to uh, increase its uh, potency quite a bit. Luckily, even though I'm taking a lot of damage, this uh, this burn heart is kind of saving me here. Because I can't take extra damage on a burn heart. The burn heart is definitely a good choice right now. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, yep. Don't lose the burn heart, please. There you go. Burn heart is kind of the thing that's keeping us alive right now. I won't say alive, but it's the thing that's making us not lose a fucking ton of HP. Instead, just lose a bit. You are very annoying, good sir. You are taking quite the beating. And apparently you're moving away from me, dude. Could, could you move towards me, maybe? There you go. Better. Oh, we got a thingy heart here as well, look. Part that takes more hits to, to be killed. I like that. Oh my god. Sometimes it just goes off, like I said. And this guy just kind of insta-died there. He's full of bees. Oh, and it's the bee boss as well. Thematic. It's full of bees. More of the void. It's not charging as quickly as I remember it charging. Nice present for you there, little bomb. Boss rush with something like this is quite satisfying, I've got to say. More of the Void is just one of those items that's just, it's just exciting to use, no matter how many times you get it. I actually think it's, it's, it's one of those items, I kind of prefer it to stuff like Brimstone. It, it kind of... 
people used to sort of compare Revelations um, and Brimstone, but I actually think you ought to be comparing Revelation and uh, More of the Void more closely. I think those items more closely represent each other. God damn it. Oh my lord. There's some hellfire going on there as well. Oh, you're trying to step on me, are you? Good lad. Good attempt. I love the way this guy moves now. It looks so much better. It's kind of sketchy. Like, it is kind of scary. But, he looks so good. It does look a bit weird with the coming down things up below his feet all the time, but otherwise he looks pretty gnarly. Here we've got an angel here. I genuinely have zero idea how I wasn't hit there. It's kind of a miracle. I like the way Slick Spade still applying status effects on occasion. There you go, Soul of Isaac unlocked. Whoa, data miner. <laughs> no thanks. I'm full. I think with uh, at the minute we need uh, we need more damage because more of the void is scaled off of our damage, I believe. So I think that's one of the reasons that we're uh, we're not doing a ton of damage. I mean, like more of the void is clearly doing a good amount, but it could be doing a good amount more. Ow. So now I'm taking double, double damage, so this book is something we probably want to get rid of pretty soon. This 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 floor, like, if, if I make some mistakes, I could die pretty quick here. And trust me, I'm prone to making mistakes. Like, such as... <laughs> Luckily, like I said, this Burnheart is just keeping this alive right now. Burnheart's helping so much. And it's gone. <laughs> I love that Burnheart. How dare you? Oh, we've managed to escape this wall pretty quick. Dude, taking a lot of damage right now. Gotta be careful. Oh my lord. That just went off that time. Okay. Oh, we get the Money Man, uh, Spirit of Bargaining. I mean, ugh, unfortunately, there's just too many items here that, like, I don't want to take. That helps. I like that. Uh, honestly, this has just been terrible. I'm going to I'm gonna swap this out. It's just, it's just not being good. Um, eh. Right, down we go. Oh, still pretty worried about my active, but otherwise this run's good. Yeah, unfortunately our planetarium item was just... It seems to be bugged or something, because it just wasn't giving me any more of the stones, and it just wasn't very good without them. Oh god, didn't see that coming. One second. Very large sneeze came then, and another one. Oh my god, that's, I apologise, that was two absolutely massive sneezes that came out of nowhere. Oh lord. Hello, Mr. Toothless. The good thing is, like, we, even though we're taking two, two hits that damage at a time, we lose the HP less, like, less often than every three rooms, for the most part. Um, I say that and immediately took some damage. But what I mean is that we're, like, able to regain our health a little bit better on average than the, what we're taking it from this book. So the book's actually still pretty good, even on this, these floors. Imagine it though with car battery or um, electric dice. That would be supreme. We have fully become like the well, Vola 5 and transformation with the more of the void and everything as well. And you can see like we're having a really hard time actually losing HP permanently because we're getting it all back pretty fast. Even when I'm taking damage pretty stupidly like that. Oh my god. You guys need to chill out. You dead? Yes, you are. Them brimstone beams coming off of us from 3D glasses are just amazing. Into the boss chamber we go. I probably should charge up my more of the void a little quicker there, but 
Oh, well. This could be a lot of damage, to be fair. Because I need to get in there with more of the void, and to do that, I need to get quite close. <sighs> I accidentally let go of charge as well. Oh, God, here. Good hit, good hit. But we skipped the last phase, so not all bad. No, what have I done? Oh, actually, no. Okay, that's right. That's fine. I, I was going to say, what have I done? But it was, it was only Botrus we needed to do, wasn't it? I didn't have any other requirements. So actually, to be fair, if we die on this run, it's not... I've been sort of thinking about it as like, oh, we've really got to make sure we don't die. But technically, if we die on this run, it's not a big deal. Just the entertainment factor would go down, maybe. But otherwise, it's not that big of a deal. I'll try my best to win it. Based, based on my HP at the minute, I think we're okay. We're taking damage here and there, but you can clearly see that we're, like, regaining enough HP to make up for it for the most part. Apart from when I'm taking damage like that. Oh my lord, okay, let's 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 try and be a little more cautious. <laughs> I feel like my subconscious was like, oh, you can die if you want, and my subconscious was like, fuck yeah! <laughs> let's do it! Let's die. As you can clearly see, I've, I've kind of eaten dirt since I last said that. Oh no. Okay, so I think, I think I've think i unfortunately accidentally just agreed with myself to die. Um, <laughs> seemingly is what, what's happening here. More of the Void yet again on this fight. Not very good. Yeah. Okay, apparently I just agreed to kill myself. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. We got our completion mark regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.